loved the first issue of our anime Christmas special. Now here's part two to make your Christmas even more delightful. In our previous video, we featured some all-time blockbuster season favorite animes that offer an unforgettable experience in the spirit of the season. Guess what? Here's more! Check out our 10 best anime for Christmas holidays. Number 10. Sailor Moon Sailor Moon is the story of Usagi Tsukino, a 14-year-old loser kid that finds a friend in Luna, a mystical talking cat. In order to find the Moon Princess and fight the wicked forces of the Dark Kingdom, Luna grants Usagi the ability to change into her magical alter ego, Sailor Moon. The characters are quite endearing as they help each other out, have a lot of dreams of their own, and are clearly working towards realizing them. It's not just sunshine and flowers, though. You'll fall in love with the transformation sequences and attack and combat scenes that dazzle with vibrant colors and explosive themes. The power of love is the major theme, as it is frequently portrayed as the most potent force in the cosmos in the Sailor Moon anime and manga. That's what Christmas is about, isn't it? Now let's move on to the next film on our list. And if this isn't a masterpiece, it's pretty darn close. Number 9. Suzume Although Makoto Shinkai is frequently linked to the renowned Hayao Miyazaki, his latest picture, Suzume, audaciously displays his unique perspective. Suzume bravely addresses important subjects, like the disintegration of the country's rural fabric, falling fertility rates, and the attractiveness of big metropolises. This has fueled his work, and Shinkai graces your Christmas with this monument. Suzume delves into Japan's arduous journey towards healing and acceptance in the aftermath of the catastrophic Tohoku earthquake and tsunami of 2011. This catastrophe served as the impetus for the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident. On that terrible day on March 11, between 20 to 30 thousand people perished or disappeared, believing they would always be lost to the sea. Japan was never the same. This film is an odyssey on accepting the past and discovering the inner power to build a better future. I'd say Suzume is the best animated film of the year, even surpassing the Super Mario Brothers. Because of the incredible animation, it might be his best looking film to date. And without being overbearing, the story deftly handles current affairs and societal criticism, presenting a well-written narrative that speaks to the audience on several levels. Its skillful interplay of drama, action, romance, and mystery will leave you swallowing back tears. Number 8. Your Lie in April Known as one of the most depressing tales in anime, this musical drama uses actual classical music compositions to enhance the character's feelings and convey ideas that are difficult to put into words. After a two-year absence, former piano prodigy Arima Kuse returns to the lovely realm of classical music, breaking free from his curse of not being able to hear the notes while he plays. The story is about a profound passion for music, tragic loss, childhood trauma, growing up, and letting go. Meeting the stunning, free-spirited musician Miyazono Kaori inspires him to take this action. This anime features works by composers like Beethoven, Debussy, and Mozart, and concentrates on classical instrumental music. This makes for a beautiful Christmas treat. Number 7. My Neighbor Totoro this is a reimagination of a tale of two sisters who, after moving to the countryside with their father in post-war Japan, witness the emergence of other worlds. It's original, yet it's just as magical and maybe even more powerful emotionally. Adult actors Ami Okumura Jones and Mei Mack portray the sisters Satsuki and Mei, who initially come across as cartoonishly animated, but later you come to love her. Mack, who portrays the younger sister, has an almost baby-like appearance. Her descent to the hollow of the camphor tree when she first encounters Totoro is a stunning set piece that combines mime and swirling dance with a complex set. A subtle longing for their hospitalized mother is clear in the two daughters' connections with their father, who is capturing their feelings with tenderness. Isn't this the true Christmas spirit? Number 6. Canon in Canon 2006, the main high school setting features an incredibly clever and cute student uniform. The feminine uniform has an appearance of something Mrs. or Santa Claus would make, 
It's convincingly engaging and elegantly simple. The male outfit appears quite comfortable to wear. A plain blue jacket worn over a sweater with a turtleneck? How cozy and welcoming. This anime did a good job of illustrating the concept of memories gradually returning. It enhanced the air of mystery and intrigue that permeated with every snowflake in this animation and made it appear more real. That's why it's a must-watch this Christmas. Number 5. Chocota Sister the main focus of Chakota sister is Haruma. His mother had to get a hysterectomy to prevent her from ever becoming pregnant again after her miscarriage. I realize that sounds horrible, but you need a strong character arc for your protagonist, don't you? Haruma's parents eventually come to terms with their loss, but he still begs Santa for a younger sister to match the one his parents were expecting. Naturally, Santa hasn't responded. Let's fast forward to Haruma, age 21, at his apartment. It is then that a female Santa bursts in to give him a tiny sister. Isn't that the secret ingredient of Christmas cheer? Startled and perplexed, Haruma says that years ago, he had hoped for a sibling. To which Santa said, it takes time to make a sister. Then Santa leaves a 21-year-old college student and a toddler behind. I'm a 21-year-old college student, and I can assure you that I am not ready to be a parent. In any case, Haruma gives the girl the name Choco, and what happens next is hilarious. Choco only knows the bare minimum thanks to an instructional manual Santa sent her. This handbook is not useful. Despite the fact that I am not a parent, Choco behaves just like one. The manual's failure to clarify other kinds of partnerships is the only issue. Choco then tries to mimic Chitose, the girl Haruma has a crush on. As a result, Haruma and Chitose have to explain that she can't be both her sister and her girlfriend, which is kind of awkward to explain. Number 4. Winter Garden The plot moves like a standard anime romance tale, but what makes this special so amazing is how much action they pack in just two episodes. This makes the story flow incredibly well and will leave you wishing it was longer. However, the novel doesn't actually leave any questions unanswered, so you won't be let down if like me, you demand answers to everything. There are no gradients in the colors, all straightforward but well-drawn, including the backdrops. Given its short running time, this anime doesn't have many songs, but the ones it does have are excellent. It's odd because I usually gravitate toward anime for the narrative, but that's okay because Winter Garden's excellence is what drew me in. You will get a good laugh out of some light-hearted humor. So if you want to see anything serious though, this is not for you. But if you need a light distraction or want to take a break, watch this and you'll see its hidden beauty. The hidden beauty that makes Christmas special. Number 3. Lucky Star Lucky Star has managed to portray the spirit of its era better than any other anime. It's still as famous and representative of anime's contemporary history 16 years after its first broadcast. And when better to watch it with loved ones than Christmas. Tucked away in its own metaverse, Lucky Star is an anime about anime, a show made by otaku, for otaku, and all about otaku. It is loaded with as many bizarre allusions and inside jokes as it can muster, sure to put a smile on the face of any Akihabara resident. Though rarely used with such glee, referential humor might not be new, but the glee and self-awareness makes this a Christmas must-watch. Because of its dialogue-driven humor, the truth is, Lucky Star is as nichijoke as it gets. Dumping cartoonish silliness in favor of clever and dry conversation, Lucky Star never lets any of these conversations get boring, even as it veers between the pointless and the banal. As a product of its era, Lucky Star brilliantly endures, brimming with an otaku pride that only grows stronger with time. Its comedy and humor have given rise to many parodies and analysis, as well as endless material for shippers worldwide. However, the real reason for its longevity is our affection for that bygone era and its passion for anime from both the past and the present. Number 2. Bell 
Japan produced the animated science fiction drama Bell. Suzu, a melancholic adolescent with freckles, is still in mourning after her mother's untimely passing. Her friend is sick of seeing Suzu cry and mope all the time. She then purchases an app for you, the largest virtual world on the internet. With you, its 5 billion users can transform into a new individual by linking an avatar to their biometrics. Suzu turns into Belle, the most well-liked vocalist in the virtual world. But vigilantes with a hideous avatar disrupts Belle's major performance. Belle makes the decision to find out who the Beast really is. The well-loved Disney movie Beauty and the Beast inspires Belle to take unexpectedly somber turns. Its strong Christian redemptive perspective emphasizes sincerity, empathy, and love. By demonstrating empathy, the heroine Heroin calms the beast's animosity. Not to mention the tiny women's choir practicing for a Christmas show performs a brief Latin language holy choral work that exhorts listeners to praise God. The animated film Bell is a moving and uplifting work of art. However, owing to a few D swears, some action violence, and a brief provocative sequence, it is best viewed with caution for older children. Number 1. Wolf Children in Wolf Children, Hannah, a bright college student living alone, meets a young guy who has a terrible secret. The guy she loves the most is the last surviving honcho wolf, thought to have been extinct for more than a century, yet he is only partially human. Hannah consents to the wolfman's sporadic transformation, and their wonderful romance results in Yuki and Ame. But soon, catastrophe strikes. With the wolfman's spirit guiding her, Hannah relocates far from the city and makes use of all available resources to give her kids a complete upbringing as they develop and attempt to find their way. However, growing up in a home where the children are not entirely human is an inevitable difficulty that calls for determination, compassion, grace, and at the end of the day, a tremendous deal of sacrifice. There are moments when it seems difficult to be a single parent. Even though Wolf Children may be going above and beyond in its work, it does serve as a reminder that many parents are willing to go to any lengths to ensure their children have the greatest possible life. Isn't that what makes Christmas a time of wonder? Check out our other videos on your screen. See you next time. Stay tuned.